Woo! College football is back, baby. You see me, I'm recording this at somewhere around, I think, around 3.35 in the morning. Um, that's the life of a college student, man, when you have to, uh, when your professor decides to give you work on a Saturday. And uh, because it's online learning, you got to do it during football. When you're watching, trying to watch football. So that was phenomenal. But one hell of a week of college football, or one hell of a day of college football. And uh, what a start with Iowa State losing to the Louisiana Cajuns. What in the hell happened to Iowa State? Brock Purdy is out here throwing interceptions. He has 151 yards. This is a guy that was a projected first, early, second round pick. That stock has dropped. Iowa State had, I think, around what? They had a kick return touchdown, a punt return touchdown. There were fumbles, interceptions all over the place. Just dumb mistakes, dumb penalties. Listen, I understand that we had, that we had no spring ball, but my goodness, Louisiana was just dominant. Iowa State made way too many six, but it was the fact that Louisiana was just dominant. They were dominant in the line of scrimmage. They, 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 for some reason, Louisiana just, they looked bigger. They seemed bigger. They played bigger than Iowa State. Iowa State looked like a D2 school today. This was, this was embarrassing. Um, I, 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 this was shocking because you're, because even though Iowa State hasn't really, they haven't been a 10, 11 win football team. They haven't won the big 12 championship. This is an Iowa State team that last year could have beat Texas. That could have, um, I think they actually, I'm not too sure if they beat Texas, but this is a team that competed with Texas. They competed with Oklahoma. They competed with Oklahoma State. They competed with some of the best teams in, in the conference. Iowa State is known as the school that's no pushover, a school that's on the come up. That's getting better defensively. But where was the defense? Where was the special teams? Most importantly, in a conference that's all about offense, where was the offense? 14 points against a Sun Belt team? Oh, man, this, this is not a good look for the Big 12. I'll tell you this right now. When the spotlight is on the Big 12 and the ACC tonight, ACC doesn't, they don't play, in, uh, the SEC doesn't play until the 26th, the Big Ten might not play until either October or November, or the, not at all, uh, the Pac-12 is done, uh, all these other conferences, you know, they're, they're either playing later on, or they're, or they're done, so the spotlight's on the Big 12 and the ACC, and you have not just Iowa State going down, but then you have Kansas State losing to Arkansas State, the Sun Belt owns the Big 12. They own the Big 12 and I'm not even joking about that. They they're 2-0. This is this is this is this is insane. This is crazy. This is crazy. 31 to 14? At least for Kansas State, it was a close game. This was a this was a demolition. This was this was complete domination. This was Iowa State literally bending over and and then Louisiana's like, "Hey, you got some lube. Got some lube. Oh shit, right here. I got, I got, I got it. I got it for you right here. You know, just put a little bit in there, and and, and you can just go to town. I mean, Iowa State just gave it to him. He just, they, they gave it to him. This is, this is, this is crazy. Uh, this is insane that this actually happened tonight. Now, like I said, I understand there's no spring ball, but my goodness, Louisiana. It, this wasn't like it was any fluke. Louisiana was the better team. And I mean, they were the better team by a mile. And if this game was played 10 times, I think Louisiana could probably win 8 to 9 times out of 10. Brock Purdy, I tell you what, man, his stock went down the drain. I tell you that right now. Like I said, it's possible he can bounce back from this. But I know a lot of scouts are looking at that particular game. And they'll probably get him out. Of, they'll probably take them off the list. They'll take them off the board immediately because, man, this was an embarrassing performance. If you're an Iowa State fan, you got to be embarrassed. If you are a Louisiana Cajun fan, you got to be super excited. Definitely, But definitely happy for those players. I know they lost their offensive line coach during the offseason at the age of 31 to a heart attack. So I know that they're happy. I know they were probably extra motivated to get this one for them. So congratulations for the, to the Louisiana Cajuns. But to the Iowa State Hawkeyes, your playoff chances are over. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, 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 you can't, you cannot, you can't expect me to believe that you guys are going to beat Oklahoma, Texas, and Oklahoma State when you guys are losing 31 to 14 to the Cajuns. Uh, it's just not happening this year for me. You know.
Not happening. So, yes, that's my thoughts. Um, let me know how you guys feel about this loss. But, to, you know, Iowa State fans, I want to hear from you guys. If you guys, you know, if you guys are watching this video, I want to hear from you guys. But Cajun fans, you guys definitely want to talk about uh, talk about the game too. We can definitely hash it down in the comment section below. But anyway, Jan716, a.k.a. Jan Sports, I'm out.